When you're waiting, one of the scariest prayers you can pray is that God would bring you what's best for you. You might have to wait. You might make suggestions that he says no to. You might have to keep trusting him when things make zero sense. But God knows what he's doing. He knows you better than you know yourself. Prayer for today, Heavenly Father, thank you for the transforming power of your Spirit. Help us to abide in you so that the fruit of your Spirit may be evident in our lives. Teach us to love, to live with joy, to seek peace, to exercise patience, to show kindness and goodness, to remain faithful, to practice gentleness, and to exercise self-control. May we be a living testimony of your grace and love to those around us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You're not reading this by accident. God wants you to know that his mercies are new every morning, and that you will overcome this battle, because he has already won the victory. Just rest in him. I don't know what tomorrow holds, but I completely trust the one who holds tomorrow. Amen if you believe. Dear God, I am not asking to make my life easier, but please give me strength and courage to face all my struggles. Amen. I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for another day I can wake up and live life. I pray that I will not waste time in my own negative thoughts and worries, but help me to think of the hope you give us in your word. Please watch over all my loved ones and keep them safe today. May they grow closer to you each day and experience your love for them. Sure is in your hands. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies and from those who persecute me. With man, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Jesus became a carpenter, knowing one day he would be nailed to the cross. God created roses with thorns, knowing one day they would be crowned on the head of his only son. He never makes an imperfect design or mistake, so why should you feel differently about yourself? Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff comfort me. Amen. Dear God, my heart is heavy, my mind is racing, my life feels stuck. Please free me. Strengthen me and heal me. Joshua 1 verse 9 Don't be afraid, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Jesus replied, You do not realize now what I am doing, but later you will understand. Amen. The situation God is putting you through right now could change your life. It could change someone else's life. God is putting you through this, because he has faith and trust in you that you will overcome it. He would never put you through something he doesn't think you could overcome. Stay strong in your faith and rely on him to guide you through it. Sometimes faith will make you look foolish to others until it starts to rain. Just ask Noah. Love never gives up, never loses faith, is always hopeful, and endures through every circumstance. For every struggle I endure, I just have to thank God because he is molding me to become the person I need to be. Support our community and donate us through super thanks type yes if you believe in God. God bless you.